Miles, aka Deuce McBride, has been introducing himself to the entire world since being put into the Knicks starting lineup. He's been showing off his ability to shoot lights out from three, get his teammates open within the offense, and absolutely lock down whoever he's guarding. If you're a fan of the team, then you already know what he's about, but if you don't ever watch them, then this dude kinda came out of nowhere. 68 games into the season, he was thrown into the starting lineup due to injuries and averaged 21.5 points, 3 rebounds, and 4 assists over his first 5 games. He's also been shooting 55% from the field, and insane 49% from 3 and 92% from the free throw line. Almost 50-50-90 splits. I know it's only a 5 game stretch, but still, for a guy getting his first consistent starts in his entire career, that's pretty crazy. Especially for someone that's averaging less than 8 points and 2 assists a game. And during that stretch, he even survived a Tom Thibodeau special. Against the Brooklyn Nets, Miles was on the court for the entire game. He literally played all 48 minutes. Him and his teammate Josh Hart are the only players that have played all 48 minutes this whole season and they even did it in separate games. But coming from a dude that wasn't getting consistent minutes at the beginning of the season, I don't think he cared one bit. He finished with 26 points and 3 assists, along with 0 turnovers. And of course, he also lit it up from 3, making 6 of them. So on top of not getting a single second of rest, he actually had a really good game all around as well. Miles has an infinite gas tank, and if you watch him play, that becomes very noticeable very quickly. He not only contributes offensively, but he's harassing whoever he's guarding on defense. He's a guy that will take charges, die for loose balls, and play defensive back on fast breaks. He's just all over the place at all times. And by the way, he's only listed at 6 foot 1, so it's not like he's a taller defender either. Not often do you see a smaller guard able to contribute this much on defense. But he's already had a few other games just like that. Against the Warriors, Miles got his 10th career star and first start of the 5 game stretch because OG and Anobi was hurt. And let's just say, he had the game of his life. He scored a career-high 29 points, shooting 9 for 13 from the field and 6 for 9 from 3. He's shown flashes that he's capable of doing stuff like this, but this performance kind of came out of nowhere. The game right before this one against the Kings, he played less than 12 minutes, took one shot, and scored 0 points. So to set a career high the very next game was the perfect way to bounce back. He scored 19 points in the first half alone and played 46 and a half minutes in a very close matchup. Again though, on top of his extremely good offensive stats, he was chasing around Steph Curry the entire time. Curry still ended with 27 points shooting 8 for 20, but he definitely had to work for those shots. You can try to slow down Steph Curry, but you're not really going to stop him, especially with the team he has around him right now, they need him. But Miles essentially replicated his game against the Warriors just the other night when they played the Raptors. The only difference is they won this one by 44 points. He finished with 29 points again, but had 3 rebounds and 7 assists. Miles made 10 shots throughout the game, and 9 of them were 3s. He shot 10 for 17 from the field and 9 for 14 from 3. He also scored 18 points and made 6 of those 3s in the very first quarter. Just another all around elite performance now that he's been given significant minutes. And at the time of me making this video, he made his 6th start in a row and had just 7 points against the Spurs. Which is a step down from what he's been doing, but it's not really Miles' fault Jalen Brunson decided to channel his inner Mamba mentality. Literally the very next night after DeJounte Murray put up 44 shots in a game winner against the Celtics, Jalen Brunson went full Kobe mode and somehow topped him, taking 47 shots in a single game, scoring a career high 61 points. I'm not saying Miles played amazing, but you don't really have to go off when the guard next to you is taking half the team's shots. Dante DiVincenzo also had a really good shooting night as well. Of course though, Miles still was there on defense. He finished with 4 steals and even had a couple big defensive plays towards the end of it. And they somehow still ended up losing after Jalen put up the second highest scoring game in franchise history. If you don't know, Wembenyama is that guy. But the best part about this entire Knicks and McBride situation though is that he's getting paid just $13 million over the next 3 years. 
Well, it's not the best for Miles, but 13 million is still 13 million. They signed him to that contract literally the same day they traded RJ Barrett and Emmanuel quickly. A lot of Knicks fans were worried about what they were going to do at the backup point guard spot once they lost quickly. But little did they know the organization had a lot of faith in Miles McBride. He's in his third year, it's not like he's a rookie though. He's had chances to show what he can do on the court, and although he showed flashes of how good he can be, he kinda just wasn't there yet. That, and it's kind of hard to consistently be in and out of the rotation, then come in and mesh well within the offense. And I know I've been hyping him up this whole video so far, but there still is a lot of room for him to grow. He's not the best playmaker and honestly sometimes plays even better as the shooting guard, which is what we've been seeing lately with him playing alongside Brunson. He could continue the role that he's currently in right now as the years go on, or focus on becoming a true point guard which kinda makes more sense. I know you see guys like Luka and Trey Young that are really good guards from day one, but Miles is still just 23. I'm not saying he will be an all-star in the next few years, but he can become a really good player. He's also playing alongside another small guard in Jalen Brunson who can help him out a lot. But Miles has come a long way to even get where he's at. He spent two years at West Virginia University before getting drafted. His freshman year he came off the bench, then started all but one game in his sophomore year. He had a really solid sophomore season that included 7 games with 20 or more points and 17 games with 5 or more assists. He also had a really strong performance in the March Madness tournament despite them being upset by Syracuse in the round of 32. He would then get drafted with the 36th pick by the Knicks, but he was sent down to the G League after a good performance in the Summer League. Miles would only play 6 games before being brought up though, because he absolutely dominated in the G League. He had a game against the Motor City Crews where he scored 39 points, grabbed 8 rebounds, and had 7 assists. Or how about his game against the Delaware Bluecoats where he scored 39 points again but this time with 9 rebounds and 10 assists. He had yet another game against the Grand Rapids Gold where he was 2 assists off a 20 point 20 assist game. And he had a 16 point 16 assist game against the Celtics G League team. Just crazy performance after crazy performance and he somehow did all of that in just 6 games. That also really puts into perspective just how much better the NBA is than the G League. But I am curious to see what his role turns into once OG Ananobi and Julius Randle are back in the lineup. His minutes are gonna get cut back, but to have this guy on your bench whenever you need him shows how deep the team is. He's a project guard that is coming along really well. And I know I've highlighted multiple big games from him, but that's not even really his job. The Knicks have multiple players that can go off on any given night. McBride doesn't need to be the guy that's consistently doing it. He just needs to find and play well in his role whenever he's on the court. He fits the Knicks motto perfectly and his all around package that he's been showing is very promising. Plus he's not even getting paid that much money, even if they don't really need him it's not like he's getting paid even 10 million a year. He doesn't have to live up to a big contract, he just has to live up to what he's being paid right now and so far it definitely looks like he's gonna do that. But let me know down in the comments what you think about Miles aka Deuce McBride and please leave a like on the video to support the channel. Also subscribe if you're new for more basketball videos just like this one.